Welcome to day 34 of the Seeker's Guide to Soul Contact. Hope you're enjoying the classes so far. If you are, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Today's theme is Victims are Victims of Themselves. The obstacles to soul contact that originate in the emotional body are many. We've already covered quite a few, such as grievances, guilt, false god, and fear. Another one high on the list is victimhood. Now, many a seeker gets caught in this trap that forces the eyes away from the inner spirit to the outer personalities and away from the inner voice to the cacophony of the many outer ones. The victim blames other people for his problems and then focuses uh, outward where the blame seems to lie. This directs the attention away from the soul. The reasons for blame are many. Here are some examples. If the victim is irritated, he blames someone else for causing it. If the victim suffers loss, he blames another for causing this. A victim is outraged by apparent insults and blames another for his hurt feelings. A victim feels uh, deserted and isolated if he does not get enough attention. If the victim suffers ill health or pain, he will blame some cause out there and sometimes even God. If the victim does not reach his goals, then someone else is to blame. When the victim makes mistakes, he blames another. That should be enough to give the uh, person watching this uh, the general idea. Not all victims are a fit with all the examples given. Some just feel a victim in certain select areas of life, while others seem to feel a victim in just about every way you can imagine. Unfortunately, Even a small amount of victimhood creates a barrier to full soul contact. So the seeker needs to do a powerful self-examination and weed out such feelings. The victim centered in the lower personality finds self-victimization is very easy to justify. If feelings are hurt, then it's easy to blame such feelings on some thoughtless statement made by an associate. If loss is suffered, if, if loss is suffered, it seems like uh, someone else's mistakes are really the cause. A natural question at this point is this: Isn't it the case that sometimes you are a real victim? Suppose someone just stole a large sum of money from Jim. Wouldn't he uh, be justified in claiming victim status here? Well, often the person who feels a victim will blame others for his problems when the problem seems to onlookers to be mostly his fault. Then there are times, such as in the example, where the problem does seem to originate from outside the victim's control. Even here, a little investigation may reveal the crime could have been avoided. Maybe the guy did not lock his door or just trusted someone without reason. But let us suppose that a victim can state circumstances that proves he is really a victim, that the problem is definitely the other guy's fault. Is he then justified in feeling the victim? He probably will in his own mind, but feeling the victim, apparently justified or not, still creates a barrier to soul contact. If someone wrongs the seeker, he must apply the principle of forgiveness and let it go. He must not see, this is the principle we talked about in the last class, he must not see the feeling of being a victim. He can do this with the realization that all apparent loss that tempts him to be the victim are temporary and not real, whereas the source of the inner voice is eternal and real. 
Sacrificing the real for the unreal makes no sense. Before the seeker can transcend the feelings of the victim, he must discover them. A problem is that many who suffer feelings of victimhood do not admit to themselves that they have such feelings. If the feelings are not acknowledged, then they cannot be eliminated. Therefore, the next step for the seeker is to examine himself and honestly determine whether or not any feelings of victimization reside within himself. This is your assignment today. Reflect on your feelings and honestly determine if there are ways that you see yourself as a victim. And with this affirmation, to my own self be true, and I cannot be a victim to anyone. Good seed thoughts for contemplation, and we will see you tomorrow.